All right, folks, I am here with probably a new face to most of you because of just uh, the NFAA and the ASA stuff that we've been doing. But I'm standing here with Jansen Ansbull. Did I, did I pronounce it right? Asbull. Asbull. But uh, Jansen, uh, I, I've known him for a little while now, and uh, it's been a while since you've been out here. So t talk to me. Where have you been? Well, it's the first tournament this year, and um, I haven't had much time to shoot. Been working a lot, doing some product development, started a new business. So... Um, been really concentrating on that for the last uh, for this last year, really two years. But uh, it's the first tournament this year that I was able to come to. I had time and uh, got a little bit of practice in and just setting a bow up. So um, didn't really have any expectation today or this really this weekend that I was going to do real well just because I haven't even shot any 3D targets. So just came out came out to to see all the all my friends and hang out and have a good time this weekend and. Uh, had a great time, shot with Darren and uh, um, don't know the other guy's name. John, John yeah, 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 John. I, John, oh, he hadn't shot in several years too. So, but uh, didn't shoot real good. I, I had some uh, yard. Now you were on this when I was with your group this morning. First couple targets. I mean, you were. Uh, oh yeah, for, first couple targets. I didn't do too bad far as the judging goes. And um, but the biggest problem is just you know if you're not familiar with the target is the confidence and. Uh, and I, uh, I ended up uh, blanking a couple targets. Oh, pretty far into the course there, got a little, got a little target panic, and uh, and like shooting a trigger release, and uh, ended up putting that back in the chair. Went back to my back tension, and <laughs> and uh, sh shot pretty good. I, I, if I hadn't have blanked those two targets, and that's the bad part is I had the yardage and just, you know, yeah. you know, muscled the shots, and that's just not practicing, you know, and yeah. your pressure kind of gets to you a little bit, and you want to try to execute a good shot and doesn't go off and you force it a little bit and uh it was bad <laughs> so, so so but you know i i'm not disappointed because i i know with this game you know you've got to practice you got to be doing that at home and you can't come here and practice it's yeah. it's not going to cut it in this class so but um i'm i'm it's fine you know i i got the back tension out and i, I finished up pretty strong yardage started coming to me a lot more in the, probably the last five Five targets started rolling pretty good with the yardage, you know, it was right there. And, um, you know, so tomorrow's another day, and I'm just going to try to shoot every target like it's uh, yeah. like it's first target and, and concentrate on making a good shot and, and having a good score tomorrow. Junkies, I'm standing here with the man, Darren Christianberry. Darren, um, we're just getting back from, from Reading, so yeah. we don't have a whole lot of time. Tell me how today went. Uh, the longer the day went, the better it got. Okay. Switching to Reinhardt's, I don't have any. We haven't shot them since 2004, I think. Um, judged them yesterday, shot the defense ranges, and was actually really pleased. Yeah. Went to bed, actually slept pretty good, somewhat confident, thinking, oh, it's not going to be that bad. Starting off today, I just didn't have much confidence, and I shot a couple eights. I glanced off first target for a eight. Shot a terrible shot on the turkey for a five, and I thought I was nine down. I was like, oh, you got to go, you know? I think it ended up two down at the end of the day. I hit a bunch of 11s awesome. at the end, but the longer the, the day perfect went, way to start the, today. I just started getting confident in my numbers. I said, yeah, that looks 47. It's probably 47. Yeah. And uh, 
like I said, the longer it went, the better it got. So the more I look at them, the better it's going to be. It seemed like that was kind of the trend for everybody today. It, getting five, six, seven targets in, then guys started to get used to either the shadows that were in there or, or what was going on. I'm not really sure, but um, you know, what was your biggest struggle today? Was it was it early just getting your numbers, yeah, or was just, it just, just getting a feel? Trusting it, because I mean. If I'm 100% confident in my number, it's really easy to make a good shot. Yeah. Well, I'm standing there with two or three numbers of difference and doubt, standing there at full draw, and the pin's just sitting there and my release hand's doing nothing because I'm scared to make the shot because I don't have a clue if it's going to hit behind my pin or not. Yeah. And as the day went on, I started trusting that a lot more, and it was just like, yeah, hey, right there it is, boom, eleven, you know, piece yeah. of cake. Then, so. So, are you going to head to uh, back over to the to the bags or anything? You're going to go shower up, chill out, and no, get ready for tomorrow morning? I might go look at a few more targets, possibly. Just to, my bow's fine, my shot's fine. I just need the confidence to step up there and go, yeah, that's 44 yards. Bear down and make a shot, and it'll hit. Instead of, I uh, think that's 41. It could be 44. Let's just make a marginal shot, and you don't have a clue what it was. So, yeah. just getting the confidence. In it, I think it's going to be big right now. And today was a good positive step in the right direction. Awesome. Well, listen, man, it's good to see you out here at the IBO. It's the first one of the year. Good luck tomorrow. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah, it's one thing about these rod hearts, boy, it's just like on a lot of days, there's nothing to aim at. I think I'll take him film. Y'all gotta check into these. Seems the shit hits. What is it? Off. I'm gonna stand next to you. Hold on for a second. Hold on for a second. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there ain't nothing in it, so there ain't nothing to go wrong. Yep. Garrett? I know it was a really good day on the course until the end of the day. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what happened today. Uh, it was a good day. Numbers hit all day. Breaking clean shots all day. I mean, it's what you want. You can't complain. Any. I mean, practice hard. I mean, it's hard work's paying off. I hit 11s all day. So that last target nerve got me pretty bad. So it was just that last target that you came out and, and fived it. Which target was it? It was the bedded white ram. Nailed the number on it. Just nerves got me. I, I bobbled on my shot. And it just it didn't turn out very pretty at that distance. Yeah. So. Um, I know that we talked before and, and you had mentioned that, you know, it's kind of kind of fortunate that you live so close to Levi and you guys can share that range. I know that you're done with or you're done with your semester in college this year. So you've been practicing pretty hard these last four days and it, it seems to be paying off. It's made a world of difference for me. I mean, I went down to Georgia. I mean, I struggled judging them now up here. It's just you get up to them. You know how far they are. I mean, you're learning the targets and it's just yeah. actually shooting them makes a huge difference. Yeah. All right. So. First year, first event with the Reinhardt targets. What did you think? I didn't mind them. Yeah, you know, it's it's a change, but it's it's different. Yeah, it levels the playing field basically for the guys that were just dominating the McKenzies. And the other guys didn't get time to judge. Now it's kind of evened it out when they, if the ones that don't have the range. So cool. Um, what did you think of as far as the way the course was you know laid out today? It was laid out really well. I mean, it went shot quick. Everything went through good. I mean, can't complain about anything really. Okay, so what are you going to do tonight to kind of chill out and uh, get ready for tomorrow's 10 a.m. start again? I just really go back, relax a little bit, talk to the family, and just keep my head cool and get up in the morning and do my thing. Well, listen, man, it was impressive to watch you out there today. Go back, get some rest, shower up, and we'll see you back here at 10 o'clock. All right, man. Thanks. See you in the morning. I have been engineered to be launched from today's high-performance shooting equipment. I must withstand and deliver over 80 foot-pounds of energy, shot after shot after shot. Powering through hide, flesh, and even bone. From the tournament trail to the trail head, when I return to my quiver, I'm still straight. 
I am Gold Tip, the toughest arrow you will ever shoot. Here with Emily Bobeff. I grabbed her immediately as soon as she got off of the tram that brought her up here. I have absolutely no idea what you shot today. How'd you shoot today? I shot two down with five eights, so I shot good. Okay, Carr's at two down, Alicia's at minus eight, so that's either going to tie you for first or I haven't gotten all the other scores, but that's going to put you right there. That's a great day. How was how was the equipment shooting today? Obviously well. It shot great. Shot great. The beginning I've shot a few eights, just lack of confidence in my number, but other than that, I, once I figured it out, I went on a 11 streak. I think I shot six of them in a row. Holy cow. Let me, hold on, everybody. Let me see this here real quick. 11 in a row. You probably can't even see that. Microphone. Microphone. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's awesome. Way to go, girl. So your yardage was definitely on. The bow shooting good yep. for you. Yep. Yep. That puts you in a great position for tomorrow. Yep. So what are you going to do tonight? Just go get some rest? I'm going to go get some food. Get some That's food. main priority. Yeah. What's, for, well, what's for dinner? Um... I don't know. It's a golden Corral buffet. All you can eat. <laughs> there we go. The dessert you can imagine. Golden so Corral, yep. and you'll be ready for tomorrow. Send us yes, a paycheck. looking forward to it. All righty, good luck. Thank you. What's up, everybody? We're here with Chance Bobeff, and Chance is your leader after day one here at the National Triple Crown for the Men's Pros in Bedford, Indiana. Chance, tell me about your day. Uh, it went, went pretty good. I. Uh... I'd be honest with you, I haven't really been practicing on Reinhardt's or anything. I've, I've been judging, just not uh, just not Reinhardt's. But uh, I don't know, it just came together. You know, I tried to look as many things as I could out there, not just the target, and it seemed to help. Just try not to make mistakes. <laughs> okay, and that seemed to be what catch a, lo a lot of guys today as I was mm -hmm. checking through some of the scorecards. You know, there were a couple of shooters like, you know, Jack Walls had an amazing string of 11s there, but he had a couple of fives and an eight. Um, even Levi himself, you know, he still finished at a good score of plus four, but he had a five and an eight too. So, and then, you know, poor Garrett got a five there on that last target. Were you able to stay out of the five area at all today? I was. I was. I, uh, I don't know. I, I tried to play a little more defensively to stay out of it. You know, if it, if it looked long, I'd give it a little extra. If it, you know, I was just trying to, to play defensive where I wouldn't, where I wouldn't get out of the core more than anything but uh, there were a couple that got me I shot a couple of eights but you know it, it happens so you gotta take the good with the bad okay and that's the game here at the IBO you know with ASAs you can get those 12s that'll bring you right back but you know in an IBO and 11 that's only one point so it's almost sometimes better to be defensive and you know just stay away from the five and the eight hope you catch enough of those and you, you caught those today and hopefully you know we'll see a chance to get a bunch of those tomorrow and we'll see where he finishes up good luck tomorrow man thank you man thanks Steve